Welcome to Grade 12 Math, Algebra Review Complete Course. Today, I'm going to talk about Solving Equations 101. Now, if you are not watching from um, a mobile device, um, there is a mobile app for this. Uh, it contains um, quizzes and as well as other study materials uh, for you to study algebra. So if you're interested, you could check out our link in the video description below. Um, in my opinion, it is very helpful and it would indeed increase your effectiveness in studying for grade 12 um, math. Uh, the app is um, for both iPhone and Android. So if you have a um, mobile phone um, that is either an iPhone or an Android, check it out, it's free. So let's start off with um, the most simplest type of equations, the linear equations. So what you want to do is to isolate the variable to one side. And you can do this by first try to move variables to one side and numbers to another side of the equation. Then if a number is multiply or divide from a variable, do the exact opposite to both sides of the equation. Please note that it needs to be in this order because of the uh, standard order of operations. So a simple example can be found here. The problem is 2x plus 1 equals 0. So now let's solve for x. So remember before, we want to start with the uh, putting number on one side and the variable on the other side, correct? So we can do this by uh, subtracting 1 from both sides of the equation to get rid of the plus 1 on the left hand side of the equation. Now you would have 2x equals minus 1. Now you want to get rid of the 2 uh, that is uh, right beside the x. And how do you do this? Well. With the reverse order of operation, if 2 is multiplied by x, we must divide the 2x by 2. And we want to do on two, both sides as well, the left and the right hand side of the equation. So we want to do where um, we want to divide minus 1 by 2 as well. So if you do that, then you would get the answer x equals minus 1 half. So how do you um, reverse test this? Well, you can substitute x with the solution that you just found to see if it would equal to 0. If you do that, you could have 2 times minus a half plus 1, which would equal to minus 1 plus 1, which it equals to 0. This actually would test out that x equals to minus half is a valid solution to this equation. So now let's look at a uh, more complex example. Now if you can see here, um, 7x plus 1 equals 5x plus 4. So what you should do is you want to isolate variables to one side. So you subtract 5 x from both sides of the equation left and right to eliminate 5x from the right hand side of the equation. This yields 2x plus 1 equals 4. Now you want to isolate the numbers so that all the numbers would be on the right hand side of the equation. So how do you do that? You have to subtract 1 from both sides of the equation to get rid of the 1 in the left hand side. So if you do that you would equal to 2x equals 3. And because you have the 2 multiplied by x and you want to get rid of the 2, you have to divide 2 in both sides of the equation. 
And if you do that, you would have x equals to 3 over 2. So if you do the reverse test, just to prove that this is a valid solution, you would substitute x in the original equation with 3 over 2 to see if both sides of the equation equals to each other. So if you do that, uh, you would have 3 times, uh, no, 7 times 3 over 2 plus 1 equals 5 times 3 over 2 plus 4. Once you uh, multiply that out, you would have 21 over 2 plus 1 equals 15 over 2 plus 4. If you have 1 equals 2 over 2, and then 4 equals to 8 over 2, because it's exactly the same thing, you would have 21 over 2 plus 2 over 2 equals to 15 over 2 plus 8 over 2. If you add them up, you would have 23 over 2 equals to 23 over 2. Since the right-hand side equals to the left-hand side, you would know that the solution passes the reverse test. So to summarize on how to solve um, these linear equations, if you have ax plus b equals c, then you have could be written as x equals c minus b over a. If you have x over a minus b equals c, you could rewrite this into x equals c plus b times a. If you have a square root, of x equals a, then you could rewrite this as x equals to a squared. If you have a problem called x squared equals a, you could rewrite this into x equals to square root of a. But lastly, if you have 1 over x equals to a, you could rewrite this into x equals to 1 over a. Now a and b and c are numbers in these examples. So that is the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching. Um, if you are interested in more of our videos, uh, please visit our um, YouTube channel. The name of the YouTube channel is Mike Tudor. And I have a lot of learning videos that covers the um, um, grade 12 uh, uh, subjects. Um, we also have a link in the U in our YouTube video descriptions. Um, that link would lead you to our site where you would find um, some quizzes, other study materials, uh, pertaining to this course, as well as um, a link to our free mobile app uh, for your iPhone and Android, where you can view all of the study materials and um, quizzes from your mobile device. And if you enjoy um, looking at our videos, um, and if you want to support us, um, Please like our videos, um, share it with your friends, share it on Facebook, um, Twitter, as well as subscribe to our channel. I hope that you find this information helpful. Um, have a great day.